Welcome to the tutorial on how to properly replace the 10R9695-2288953 high pressure fuel pump used on CAT 3056E Tier 2 engines. This is a three step procedure beginning with setting the fuel injection timing, removing the high pressure fuel pump, and then installing the high pressure pump. Do not perform any lubrication, maintenance, or repair on CAT equipment until you have read and understand the operation and maintenance manual for this specific product. Information in the video complements but does not replace the detailed safety information featured in CAT operation and maintenance manuals and service manuals. Remember to wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Prep. Here's what you need. One timing pin 150-3992, one gauge piston displacement 226-2270, one feeler gauge 8H-8581, a torque wrench, and an assortment of various wrenches, sockets, and other associated tools. In addition, you'll need a 9U-6198 crankshaft turning tool. Throughout this video, if additional information or assistance is needed, refer to the Operation and Maintenance Manual or contact your local CAD dealer. An additional warning here, make sure to turn the disconnect switch off and either shut off the fuel to the pump or drain the tank before proceeding. This will prevent mess, contamination, and fire hazards during the replacement process. Now, before beginning, let's review a few important reminders. Reminder number one, keep all parts clean from contaminants. Contaminants may cause rapid wear and shorten component life. Reminder number two, care must be taken to ensure that fluids are contained. Refer to special publication NENG2500 Caterpillar Dealer Service Tool Catalog for tools and supplies suitable to collect and contain fluids on Caterpillar products. Make sure to dispose of all fluids according to local regulations and mandates. All right, let's begin. Section one. Fuel Injection Timing Step 1. Remove the water pump. Refer to the Disassembly and Assembly Guide, Water Pump Remove. Step 2. Remove the fuel injection lines. Refer to the Disassembly and Assembly Guide, Fuel Injection Lines, Remove and Install. Step 3. Ensure that the number one cylinder is at the top center compression stroke. Refer to testing and adjusting, fuel injection timing check. Now, fasten a temporary pointer to the front of the front cover. Put the tip of the pointer close to the edge of the damper on the crankshaft or close to the edge of the pulley. Remove the valve mechanism cover. Refer to the disassembly and assembly guide, valve mechanism cover, remove and install. Following that, install the 9U-6198 crankshaft turning tool to the front damper bolts. Then, rotate the crankshaft clockwise when you face the front of the engine until the push rod for the inlet valve of the rear cylinder begins to tighten. Rotate the crankshaft further by 1 8 of a turn in a clockwise direction. Then loosen the rocker bolt of the cylinder number one inlet valve. An important thing to note is to record the number of rotations when loosening the rocker bolt. Now, open the inlet valve. Insert a feeler gauge or suitable spacer that is approximately 5 mm or 0.2 inches thick between the valve stem and the rocker lever. Slowly rotate the crankshaft in a counterclockwise direction until the piston makes contact with the open valve. Make a temporary mark on the damper or the pulley in order to align accurately with the tip of the pointer. Rotate the crankshaft in a clockwise direction by one or two degrees. Then, remove the spacer that is between the valve stem and the rocker lever. Rotate the crankshaft again by one quarter of a turn in a counterclockwise direction. Then, rotate the crankshaft by one quarter of a turn in a counterclockwise direction. Insert a feeler gauge or suitable spacer that is approximately 5 mm or 0.2 inches thick between the valve stem and the rocker lever of the cylinder number one inlet valve. Now slowly rotate the crankshaft clockwise again until the piston makes contact with the open valve. 
Make another temporary mark on the damper or the pulley to align accurately with the tip of the pointer. Then make another temporary mark at the center point between the two marks on the damper or the pulley. Remove the spacer between the valve stem and the rock or lever. Once again, slowly rotate the crankshaft in a clockwise direction until the temporary mark at the center point on the damper or the pulley, which was just made in the previous step, aligns with the tip of the pointer. The number one piston is now at the top center on the compression stroke. And finally, remove the temporary pointer from the front of the front cover. Now let's move on to step four. Remove the number two fuel injection nozzle. Refer to the disassembly and assembly guide, fuel injection nozzles remove for this procedure. Note that the number five fuel injection nozzle can be used if the number five fuel injection nozzle is more suitable for this particular application. Step five. Ensure that the seat washer for the fuel injection nozzle is removed. Step six, check the bore of the fuel injection nozzle and check the seat for the fuel injection nozzle. Step seven, apply clean engine oil to the probe. Step eight, install the tooling B to the bore of the fuel injection nozzle. Step nine, Place main body into the fuel injection nozzle hole and install the gland nut. Step 10. Insert the probe into the main body, then gently lower the probe onto the piston crown. Then, step 11. Align the alignment pin of the main body to the slot in the fuel injection nozzle hole. Step 12. Rotate the crankshaft in the direction of the engine rotation until the machined face of the probe aligns with the top of the main body. It's important to note, once the probe aligns with the top of the main body, do not rotate the crankshaft until the original fuel injection pump is removed and the new fuel pump has been installed. With that said, the number one piston should be at four degrees after the top center compression stroke. Now, Section 2, Removal of the Fuel Injection Pump. Note that the hole in the timing gear and the hole in the hub should already be aligned after properly completing Section 1 Fuel Injection Timing Check. Step 1. Install the timing pin through the hole in the timing gear and the hole in the hub. Push the timing pin into the correct position in the fuel injection pump body. If the tooling can be fully seated, then the fuel injection pump timing is correct. Just a reminder that no resistance should be felt when the timing pin is inserted into the hole of the fuel injection pump body. Step 2. Please check the pump model before proceeding. Now, it's important to remember that the timing bolt should not be tampered with when fitting the Model B design. Step 3. In the case of Model A, please do the following. For Model B, proceed to Step 5. First, loosen the bolt and remove the spacer. Next, tighten the bolt to prevent the shaft from moving. Step four. Regardless of if you have Model A or Model B, here you will remove the bolts. Now, on to step five. Disconnect the harness assembly. Step six. Remove the nuts on both sides of the fuel pump. Step 7. Remove the fuel injection pump. Note that it's important to support the fuel pump while it's removed from the engine with the timing pin still in place. Step 8. Secure the pump in a suitable vise and carefully rotate the hub to remove the timing pin. Note that if a socket or wrench is not available, the fuel injection pump gear bolts can be used in conjunction with a pry bar. Now, on to Section 3, Fuel Injection Pump Installation. Note that whenever a fuel injection pump has been removed from the engine or when a replacement fuel injection pump has been obtained, the hub alignment must be checked. It's also important to note that the replacement fuel injection pump hub may not come properly aligned. The hub should be aligned such that the timing pin can be inserted. 
Step 1. Verify that the hub on the replacement pump is correctly aligned. Step 2. Secure the pump in a suitable vise and carefully rotate the hub in a clockwise direction. Then align the slot in the hub to the body of the fuel injection pump. Step 3. If the hub is not correctly aligned, install a 22mm socket to the hub nut. Install a suitable tooling to the 22mm socket. Note that if a socket or wrench is not available, the fuel injection pump gear bolts can be used in conjunction with the pry bar as a suitable replacement. If the hub nut or the hub is loosened, the fuel injection pump timing will be lost. Contact the dealer solution network in this case. Step 4. Once the slot in the hub is aligned to the body of the fuel injection pump, insert the timing pin through the slot in the hub and into the timing hole of the fuel injection pump using hand pressure only. There should be no resistance when inserted. Step 5. Once the timing pin is fully inserted, the fuel injection timing is correct. The fuel injection pump can now be installed in the engine. Step 6. Remove the probe from the main body of tooling B. Step 7. Remove the gland nut on tooling B. Step 8. Remove tooling B from the cylinder head. Step 9. Install and grease the O-ring onto the fuel injection pump. Step 10. Install the fuel injection pump onto the studs. Ensure the timing pin remains installed into the hub and the housing of the fuel pump and through the timing hole of the gear as shown. Step 11. Tighten the nuts to a torque of 22 newton meters or 16 pounds per feet. Step 12. Install the bolt and tighten the bolt to a torque of 22 newton meters or 16 pounds per feet. Step 13. Install the gear bolts. Tighten the bolts to a torque of 28 newton meters or 21 pounds per feet. Caterpillar best practices advise to mark the torque nuts and bolts with a paint pen. Step 14. Connect the harness assembly. Step 15. Now here, for Model A fuel injection pumps, please do the following. For Model B pumps, go ahead and skip to step 16. First, loosen the bolt and install the spacer. Then tighten the bolt to prevent leaks. Step 16. Remove the timing pin. Step 17. Ensure the fuel injection nozzle copper washer is replaced with a new washer and apply anti-seize. Step 18. Install the fuel injection nozzle. For your reference, consult the Disassembly and Assembly Guide Fuel Injection Nozzles Install for the correct procedure. Step 19. Install the valve cover. Step 20. Remove the banjo fittings from the previous pump. Flush the fittings with clean fluid and install them on the new pump. Before connecting the lines, ensure the upstream fuel system, that is the fuel tank, primary and secondary fuel filters, the priming pump, and fuel lines are free of water, dirt, contamination, or debris. Please refer to the Caterpillar Fuel Systems Contamination Control Guidelines for additional details. Step 21. Install the fuel injection lines. Refer to the Disassembly and Assembly Guide Fuel Injection Line Remove and Install. Now it's important to note, if the fuel lines are being reused, ensure that they are properly cleaned before reinstallation. Step 22. Install the water pump. Refer to the Disassembly and Assembly Guide Water Pump Remove and Install for the proper procedure. And finally, step 23. Make sure to prime the system before starting the engine. 
This is done by loosening the banjo bolts on the high pressure fuel pump and operating the priming lever on the priming pump until fuel flows out of the banjo bolt. Refer to testing and adjusting guide, fuel system, prime for proper procedure. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial on how to properly replace the 10R9695-2288953 high pressure fuel pump used on CAT 3056E Tier 2 engines. For further questions or concerns not covered in this video or the disassembly and assembly guides, please contact your local CAT dealer.